Okay, I want to show you guys um, something having to do with wells. You can see behind me is the well head for this house. And the problem is, is they've got a smell coming from their water. And um, basically it's a kind of a rotten egg, a sulfury smell that you'll smell either when you're drinking the water because it's close to your nose, or especially when you shower, when it gets warm, it's a little more pungent. And this is... Uh, fairly common on wells if the well hasn't been flushed or cleaned real well or um, if it's not in use a lot it actually it's a bacteria that can grow in it and if that bacteria takes off then it taints the well it's nothing that'll hurt you but it does stink a little bit and there is a way to get rid of it so I'm gonna show you how what we're going to do is put some um, chlorine tablets these are just chlorinating tablets um, I picked up at like Walmart or something like that um, used for a swimming pool or hot tub and we're going to put them down the well shaft, but there are a few tricks to doing this. So um, first what we're going to do is remove the well head. I'm going to take off these bolts around the perimeter and lift this off, and then I'll show you what's going on inside. So I've taken out the bolts all the way. You see this cap is going to lift off. So we've got a steel cap. I'm going to lay that down face up. I'm going to get dirt back in the well. And down there, you really can't see anything. I've got a wire that goes down to feed. five or six feet grade elevation below your dirt um, the pipe is going to come up and then turn it's going to go sideways and out to feed the house um, with a flashlight you can see that but I'm never going to be able to get it on tape so what we're going to do is just pour some of these um, chlorine tablets down there I'm going to pour about a cup of tablets and we'll try that for a few days if the smell doesn't go away down the well with a flashlight you will actually see I don't know if you can possibly see it in here um, but you'll see a top of a pipe where the water turns sideways and heads out into the house what you want to make sure is that you don't get any um, any tablets resting up on top of that because the straight chlorine will actually corrode the copper the brass that that's made out of we don't want that so when we're done we're just gonna take a hose and uh, on top of that and wash off anything that's on Here's what the chlorine tablets look like, just an inch pucks. I measured out about a cup's worth. And you just... Alright, so I got back in my truck because it is windy outside and probably very difficult for you to hear what I'm saying. Um, and actually it's not even the same day, you can tell because of the wardrobe change here. But... Um, what I ended up doing after I dumped the pellets down the well, I did get one that landed right on top of that fitting I was talking about. And when I shined a flashlight down, I could see where the brass fitting comes up and it turns sideways. There's actually a little hole and that's threaded so they can feed a pipe down, grab that pipe and they can pull the pipe and eventually the pump out of the well. That's how they pull it apart. And inside that little two inch recess, a pellet dropped right in there. So I hooked up the hose, cranked up the water, and just dumped it down there. It took a minute, swirled it around, it finally popped out, flushed it so there wasn't any straight chlorine in there, and once it was out, we were good. So um, that's really it. Put the wellhead cover back on, put all your bolts on. There's a rubber seal on mine, so make sure your rubber seal, if you have one like that, is not mashed off to one side or another. Make sure it's seating nice. Put all your bolts on. It's kind of like putting a wheel back on a car. You tighten them each a little bit and then go back around tightening consecutively so you bring even pressure down you don't want to crank it off to one side and have it bind on you you can damage something but that is it um we'll see in a few days if the smell's gone away if it hasn't then treat it again um three four or five days later and just keep doing those low doses until it flushes out and um the water's back to normal you will get a very high chlorine smell for a little bit right after adding the pellets inside the house because that is the water inside that shaft that's pumping up through the well into your house so you're going to have highly chlorinated water for a little bit um, not to a point that it's going to hurt you but pay attention I mean, it might be kind of stinky it might not be great to drink if you've got a really bad smell and you put a lot of chlorine you might um, want to drink bottled water for a few days while the rest of that flushes out. But hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and put them in the comments below or visit my website, www.60cubits.com, 60cubits.com, and let me know if there's anything else I can help you guys with. Thanks for watching.